Hey guys, it's me, Thomas. A lot of you have been asking questions about this particular kit here on YouTube and uh, on social media on Facebook. So I thought I'll give you a quick tour of the kit. This is a Collector Series Drum Workshop in Piano Black Finish. I use this a lot for recording sessions uh, here and in other studios uh, around Los Angeles. So this is my sort of local kit. Um, and this is a little unusual for me because I use usually larger drums and larger cymbal sizes and these are all fairly small so for me this is quite unusual uh, I'll give you a quick tour of the kit from left to right this is a, a DW Edge snare drum I tune it really low and I muffle it a lot so I put a lot of moon gel on and I also put a found slam in the middle of the drum which and this head is a CS dot anyways already, so it's got a dot on the bottom of the head and a dot on the top. And I try to hit it on the dot all the time. And I get a really nice, dead, muffled, low, deep sound. Which I like a lot. So that's the edge drum. It's mic'd internally. I let you hear only the internal mic now. And now only the external mic. And now both. Cool, huh? Anyways, uh, down here I have, and here I have two, well, three rata toms. I have all sorts of sizes ranging from 12 to 18 inches. I think this is a 12, this is a 14, I have a 16, and, and this is an 18 down here. It's a really kind of interesting, very quirky, um, unusual timbre and sound. Here I have a Minor Crasher. That's it. I've got a right hi hat here. So these are both eight-inch medium classic spells, mounted on a hoop. Uh, here are my two pedals: kick drum and the hi hat, and the same kick drum hi hat over here. So it's very symmetrical. I have right kick, left kick, right hi hat, left hi hat. So I can play the kicks. Can only play the hi hat. And I can play the kicks and the hi hat at the same time. Um, this is a 13 inch uh, drum workshop aluminum snare drum. Yeah, I love this drum. I have all uh, tuna fish lug locks on my drums here. As you can see, these little things, they keep the drum from going out of tune when I'm recording. Also here on the rata toms here, on the rag toms. So I like to use those here, even on this snare. And they're very discreet. I like these tuna fish because they're black and you can't really see them at all. I'll let you hear the snare drum.
is a 10 inch rack tom. And one really interesting thing is uh, all these have internal and external microphones. This is uh, the internal mic plug. And if you look inside the drum from the bottom, just film in, then there's a clear head in there. So you can see the microphone, there's one inside of the drum. And there's one out here. Inside there's a D4, which is a floor tone microphone, Audix. And on the outside I use a D2. So there's two different mics. And uh, I invert the phase, of course, because there may be some uh, phase uh, issues if you use two mics on the same drum, so I do that always, of course. But I can switch between a really sort of dry internal sound with a lot of attack and then the more ambient external sound. And that's a good mix. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Only the internal mic. And this is only the external mic. both together. And of course I do the same with the floor tom. You can see the that's the cable coming out from the inside of the drum. So I've got a big fat D6 bass drum microphone in my in all of my floor toms actually and I use a D4 floor tom mic on the outside which is this one. So this is internal mic only. This is external mic. And now both together. Now both toms together. This is a 12 inch uh, signature filter china uh, stacked on top of a 12 inch trash splash. And I get a really nice dry sound out of this. And here's a 10 inch Bison splash. Uh, this is a 13 inch dark hi hat. Here's a 14 inch dark. Both Bisons, which is also unusual for me because usually I use 15 inch hi hats. Uh, this is a 18 inch Trash Crash Classics Custom Series. See how soft this is. It's beautiful, look at that. Boing, wow, wow. This is a 16 inch sandblasted Bison Sears Trash Crash. And I like these two together because they're so super short and very, very percussive. And you can hear attacks even on crash cymbals when you use these. They're so short, they go out of the way so quickly, so I can go ch -ch 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 -ch. You can actually hear attacks. They don't get killed by washing. I like 
to use them in combination with the china, which is also very short and dry over here. They work well together. This is a, an 18 inch extra thin hammered crash, which is more like a traditional sounding cymbal. And here I have my 22 Stadium Ride from the Byzan series. It's got a huge bell. It's very loud. So I like the symbol. These are my signature hi hats. My two 8 inch medium classic spells. They're the same. And uh, I think that's pretty much the kit. I use uh, Onyx microphones on pretty much all of the drums. Um, and, uh, and there it is. Thomas, when is the next drumming boot camp? Well, the next camp is happening in February, February 7th to 9th, 2014, right here in Los Angeles. It's going to be a great camp. Uh, we have, you know, focus on feet, focus on independence, coordination, a lot of chops, hand and foot technique. Uh, we'll be talking a lot about time playing, about memorizing tempos, micro timing, interdependence, tuning and sound, how to mic a drum, a lot of technique, a lot of hand technique, a lot of foot technique, rudiments for the feet, so it's going to be a really intense camp. I've got a lot of my uh, former students from my online school coming to this one, so there's a lot of guys who can who understand my concepts and who, who already practice a lot of this stuff. So. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun for me to teach some of the more advanced players and show stuff to the to the people who are not uh, familiar with my ideas and concepts. So it's gonna be a good one.